So I've got a couple of switch OLEDs with uh, prior repair attempts. So, on some fancy paper, two switch OLEDs, and it says, uh, normal switch OLED, try to mod it, and now it doesn't turn on, it needs new CPU caps and then it should work. I have included some for the V2, as I think they're the same. Uh, Splatoon Switch OLED also work, it just needs a new display connector. I have included one. I've tried to fix both, but had no success. So these are both prior repair attempts. So let's have a look. and will see if we can fix them, shall we? Right after this message from today's sponsors. This video probably still would have been here without today's sponsor, but hey, it's time to show something, right? So here goes. Here at The Coder Productions, we love nothing more than to take as much money from you, the viewer, as we possibly can, which is why we're proud to talk to you about consolefix.shop, a great place for you to spend your hard-earned cash. I mean, yeah, fair enough. You get parts and supplies that help you fix things, but you've got to give me some money in return. Nothing in life's free, and if you pay me for it, you might appreciate it more. Or not, hey, I'm not judging. With that being said, we do have some pretty cool stuff on the shelves, including power supplies, HDMI ports, charging chips, MOSFETs, and whatever else you can think of that will give you the illusion that you're getting a good deal. So head on over to the online store by clicking on the link in the video description, and if there's one thing I can guarantee, is that there will be a way for me to take your money. Console Fix, your friendly money-grabbing YouTuber. They're yours. Oh, okay. Nice. So, does that mean I can or can't slag you off while I'm working on him? Can if you want. Sweet. We have permission to slag him off. So, let's laugh at his soldering. Everyone got, everyone say ha-ha when we see his soldering. How many caps are in that bag? Probably about 100. Oh, look. 100. Hey, anyone to think I've read it first? <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> okay, this was an LCD connector. Right, so... Yeah, let's work on this one first, and we'll um, then we can slag him off for his soldering on the uh, the second one later on. Right, so fifteen volts, zero amps. That's not charging. So yeah, this is a modded one, modded one. So fifteen volts and not charging, and then going to five volts. That would kind of make sense, I guess. Sort of thing. I don't know. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's just work on it and see if we can sort it out. Let's move that to one side. Let's have a look at this underneath the microscope. Start off with a NAND because this is a, a mod gone wrong. So I always start by looking around the NAND first. That looks fine. Uh, end cap appears missing there though. I was going to visually inspect the board first, just so I can get a general idea of what's going on. Uh, can you take a closer look at the heatsink? Uh, what well, on this? Um, it has got a bit of a bend in it, yeah. It's not great. I don't know how much that's going to affect the cooling board. To be honest, these don't really run hot anyway, so... Um, yeah, there is a bit of a bend in it, though. Right, so where are we missing... Ah, here. Oh, I can see you. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. Uh, right. Let's clean this up first. It's amazing how much those caps really do make a difference. Right, so it looks like we've got some solder blobs and stuff. So let me just clean up this CPU properly. I'm going to give this a really good scrub. And then while I'm doing that, you guys can laugh at your soldering. Uh, okay. Um, so, yeah, the, the note about the CPU caps being the same, they pretty much are. Um, so what I'm going to do with this is there's four which I've identified here, which I'm going to just gonna knock off and then solder new ones on. So I'm going to knock these two off here. Uh, that one there, obviously. And then there's also one just there. Uh, it looks like the end cap's been knocked off on it. I'll get rid of that one as well. If I'm going to do one, I can do them all at the same time anyway, so I may as well do them. Uh, the only problem I have with these is when the mods get left on. If I have to take the mod off to be able to fix it, 
I can't legally put it back on because I'm not going to risk my business for people. Um, normally, I'll take the mod off, stick it in an ESD bag and just send it back as an unmodded switch. I say normally, I do it every time. I, I do see a few of these. I'm going to go for the short and sweet. Um, get these off as quick as I can method. But obviously, I don't want to be putting heat on this for too long, so let's use the fast approach. That basically means 440 degrees Celsius at 40% airflow and just get them off as quick as I can, basically. Right, let's just clean up these joints. There we are. 0201, one microfarad. Is that really what these are? I don't know about that. I don't think they are, mate. They are a smaller profile than that. They're like half the size. Uh, actually, maybe, maybe not. Oh, I didn't think they'd be like that. I, I don't didn't think they'd be that um, that high value, to be honest. Yeah, the original ones I would assume are going to be in the Pico Farage, right? You know what? I don't know if I trust them. I might just take some off a donor board, to be honest. I don't think they're meant to be that value. I don't think they're meant to be a hundred. Um, sorry, one uh, one micro farad. So I'm going to take some off a donor board instead. It's not an issue. I've got hundreds of donor boards. I just can't see them being that high value. I have got an LCR meter, but not to hand. So if you look at these, they're both a zero DNX ten A one. Zero DNX ten A one. So the same CPU um, on the later revision switchboards. Robert Cross super chatted two dollars and fourteen cents. Cheers, Robert. Thanks, mate. Kimberly Jones super chatted two dollars and forty five cents. The one thing you don't want to be doing is floating the CPU or even putting too much heat on the CPU. Well, SOC should I say. Yes, Sam and I are here again. <laughs> Cheers, Kim. Ow. The board's hot. Right, let's give that a clean. I'm just going to... I'm going to run across these just with the iron quickly. You can actually do them with the iron, but the iron... I mean, the, the caps are really small. There we go. Let's touch those joints up. There's a couple of reasons I wanted to get that done as quick as possible. Number one is I don't want to stress that die by putting too much heat on it too quickly. Well, I say too quickly, I mean like too much heat for too long, more than anything. So the quicker I can get that solder flowed and those caps flowed down, the better. Uh, number two, obviously this is a BGA chip. I don't want to end up reflowing the solder balls underneath. Uh, number three, I don't want to stress the, uh, the substrate on the CPU as well. So let's get it done as fast as possible. High airflow, a fairly high temperature for a couple of seconds and... You should be absolutely fine. Well, there we go. That's uh, that's good. Moment L truth out. Well, that's not powering on, is it? 0.48. She's dead, Jim. Oh, hold on. Didn't see that bridge. Didn't notice that. Um, that resistor's probably connected. Uh, right, okay, let me do this quickly, let me just sort this out. Beepy bastard. Well, that could explain it. And yes, I did disconnect that. Ha-ha! Boom! 
Why is my thermal camera still on the screen? There we go. Boom. Thanks for pointing that out. I didn't see it. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, magic. Do you believe in magic? Yeah, there we go. There's one down. The next switch does work. Just needs a new connector. No worries, mate. I will just verify that it powers on first, though. As always. Just to cover my own back. So I'm looking for this to either start fast charging or to reset the charger. Wait, that was your main switch and you've got the limited edition one. Really? You got you got your priorities wrong, mate. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna leave that on charge for a minute while I'm disassembling it. Might not be connected. Um it's taken a charge, so it should be. It's probably just completely dead. We might end up needing to replace that game card module connector. It is a bit melted. I have got a donor board if needed. I haven't got any connectors, but I have got a donor board. No, we shouldn't need to replace that connector. It should be fine. Uh, I am going to just quickly get rid of this flux. I'm going to heat this up. Let's warm it up so I can clean the flux off. Right, that shield's going to have to come off because... And then look with isopropyl alcohol, yep, all over the CPU. Uh, so I'm going to have to clean the thermal paste off. I'm going to end up with all sorts underneath here, so... Might as well just clean this thermal paste off now and then replace it afterwards. But obviously we've got to use flux and everything as well, so... It will find its way underneath and onto the, onto the top of the CPU, no matter what. Plus it saves it all gunking up and getting all over the rest of the board. When I do start to use heat and stuff. Is that a solar blob? Was I missing a pull down resistor on that other board? I think I might have been. I might need to look into that in a minute. Right, that's a little bit better. I'll clean it all up a little bit better in a minute. We're all fluxed up. Do do do. There we go. And I'm going to prop the board up on the edge of the table now. just need to find somewhere to weight down with. There we go. Cool. Flow it from underneath the board, prevent it from damaging the connectors. There we go. Uh, I actually shouldn't need to resolder any of them joints. I should have all flowed nicely into place. So. Let's just clean it off and then I'll inspect it. Right. Let's have a look, shall we? Yep, those joints look pretty good to me. Yep, look good. Right, that was what, that's what I was using as a counterweight. Awkward like me walking into a room with a beautiful woman. <laughs> I've never seen a beautiful woman. <laughs> and you're going for spot on first go. Experience, mate, really. Just practice. Just practice on some dead boards, you'll be fine. 
Plus, I do have a pretty steady hand when it comes down to it as well. So, yeah, you just get used to it, mate. Uh, what I do need to do before I do anything, well, I'll test this. Up. I'll test this first and just make sure that we're going to display. But before I connect that up, I'm gonna to have to clean that connector out because there was flux on this side, and that's gonna have transferred over to the other side. So let's just double check this is working, and if it is, then I'll clean this side of the connector before I connect it up because otherwise it's just gonna keep transferring flux. Let's have a look. There we go. Boom. I've got a display. Apprehensive about putting on my YouTube channel. Just go, just go for it, mate. Who cares what people think? Uh, I mean, look at me. I'm not exactly good looking, am I? Come on. Um, but I just don't give a fuck what people think of me. Because why well, should I? Yeah, as long as you believe in yourself and your work. Well, you don't even need to do that if you're just learning. Um, hmm. Touch screen not working. Hmm. Touch screen no work, eh? Is that a flux thing or what? Or is it a completely different issue? I think there is flux in the connector. Yeah, there is flux in the connector for definite. I don't recommend doing this unless you're experienced. Anonymous 1989 Ryan just on Twitch. Milo Wadlin became a member. Heating up, heating up the the board while it's still in the Milo housing. Felicio became really a member. not recommend, recommended unless you are experienced. Dave G became a member. Clean the actual cable Mike as well. Giovassi became a member. Right, that seems to be going in a lot better. We got a couple of channel. Damn it, you couldn't even see it. Ha! Well, I was cleaning it with um, IPA. So channel renewals coming through. I just hope it isn't the actual screen that's damaged. There we go. Yep, flux in the connector. Cool. Job is a good un. I know it's working. Yeah, job's a good un. It's working. A little bit of flux in the connector, not an issue. Uh, right, let's sort out this game card module thingy. Um, let's leave that charging for a minute. Yeah, so it, it is gunked up, which is why I didn't want to just connect it straight back up because it's just going to transfer that gunk. So that is definitely not going to connect, is it? So let's do this, shall we? So if I'd have connected that up, it would have just ended up causing the flux to transfer from that to the main board again. And then I'd have had to clean the main board again for a second time. Get a really good scrub. And there we go. Right, that's just IPA, so I don't even need to wait for it to dry. Heat and IPA flood, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, but yeah, don't even need to wait for it to dry, and there's no logic on this board at all, so I can just connect it right up. Well, actually, oh, there you go, that's got it. Yeah, so I'm going to connect it right up and just check it straight away. I don't need to turn it off or reboot it or anything like that. Pokemon Yellow, is that installed on here? Let me just have a look. That's IPA on the screen, by the way, it's fine. Uh, data management, software. So I'm just checking if Pokemon Yellow is on here. It doesn't look like it is, so. Hmm. Well, would help if it stayed connected, wouldn't it? Hate those things. There we go. Boom. Good stuff. There we go. Good stuff. All working. Nice. Uh, then I'll get a full test tomorrow, um, for now, it's good to go, LCD is working, and that is two out of two Nintendo Switches fixed, so, 
yeah, happy days. I'm happy with that. 